Hey kids. King Dwarfin Super Punch and Super Kick. Hiya, hiya. I'm so big and strong. Ha, ha, ha. Oh no, I got beat. So, so yucky. Ah, you got me, you big dumb monster. There's no choice. I'll have to hide in the secret spot, and that spot is him. Hmm? Up with that guy. We're full of. We're full on folks who are allowed to play our King Dwarfin game. Can't keep playing with you here, so take the hint and scram. All right. Let's go underneath and travel up through the bottom like a boss. Learning of the Zora, which is at two, the great task entrusted me as a Prince Zidon. I Zidon was entrusted with a great task of renovating the Zora stone. Monuments that had fallen to ruin. There are 11 stones, monuments total found in the, around Zora's domain, including the one you are reading now. Former text written by my father, King Dorfin, could not be salvaged, and so sadly had to be had to be, had to be replaced. Despite my royal blood whispering around, uh, whispers abound. It is improper for someone my age to write over the king's glorious words. Ah, uh, but they did not realize that it was King Dorfin himself who ordered me to undertake this restoration project. Father says it's not set in stone that I shall be the one to inherit the throne, as it is not a matter of blood alone. We ask the internal skies about whether I am fit to rule, they shall remain silent. So we must look to our fellow Zora. He urged me to use these monuments to share my learning, speak to our people straight from my heart. Father is older and wiser than me. I, his sage advice, is a gift. I have inscribed my thoughts upon these eleven stones. I do not know how far reaching my word shall be, but it is my hope that will reach whoever needs them the most. Until one of my descendants writes over my using many years from now, I pray that they resonate with whoever reads them. Okay. Did it, but the sledge is too thick and gross. I have failed. My king, King Dorfin, I'm pretty please. Um, oh, what if you went to that one place to hide? Hey, come on, do it right. They didn't sound like him at all. I'm trying, but I can't play Mozu and the monster, not all by myself. I've been wondering forever the secret spot where the King Dorfin is hiding. What kind of place is it? I know, right? I asked Dorfin, King Dorfin about it once. He said it was a pristine sanctum. Uh, sanctum or something? Sanctum. Oh. We're seeing Sanctum, so I guess it's a spot with clear water, somewhere you can get your tummy clean and stuff. These days, most of the water around the domain is all yucky because of the sludge. Mm. Oh, oh. I've heard there's a clean water flow somewhere between Palmas Mountain and the domain. And there's supposed to be secret entrance behind the waterfall, too. Mm. How cool is that? Oh. A secret entrance behind a waterfall with clean water, huh? That sounds pretty amazing. Oh. Yep. Hey, wait a minute. Buzu told us we could never ever tell anyone. It's fine, no one's listening. Anyways, let's go through our game again. This time with feeling. Ugh, can't we play something else? Hey, thanks kids. Sorry I had to use drop on you. traveling right now. Make a big old jump. I thought that was like some star. I'm like, isn't it like too early in the day to get a star? Just a fruit, water fruit tree.
by like walking back and forth. <laughs> Assuming I'm talking to this guy. Stand upon the land of the sky fish and behold its lovely view among the flow. Okay. Uh, do this task and you shall reveal the most wonderful thing. See the water breach for a second. So. Between. Flamers Mountain and the Domain. I'm going to say here. Like one of these areas. I don't know why I told me to come over here. Just check this waterfall first and then check the other ones. Hey my guy, what's up? It's all Dorfin. So the young ones are pretending to be King Dorfin for fun. But you know, whenever I bring them some fish, boom, they stop what they're doing just like that. I really like to know what they're up to. King Dorfin. That's right, they're playing as though they are our beloved king. All I heard was something about the sludge and you monsters. Uh, it seems like a strange game, to be honest. I'm just grateful they can play like that in the throne room. That means I don't have to worry about them. Check this other waterfall. Okay, throw it off the mountain. This waterfall? Yeah. No. Is it this next one? Good hiding spot. Oh, hey, yeah, who approaches? Is that you? So it is, Link. How do you find this place? Our cool boy, are you plotting? Hold my ever loyal Muzu. You speak in such a way without explanation, Link here will only be confused as to what is going on. Hello, Link. It has been some time since you last spoke. 
I had received word that you went missing along with Princess Zelda. Why have you come here? Well, to think that such a thing should transpire to the Hyrule. The hero of Hyrule and Princess Zelda. You expect us to believe that you, Princess Zelda simply disappeared just like that? Yeah, solely our ears with the lies. I saw Princess Zelda with my own eyes right after the phenomenon at Hyrule Castle took place. Hmm. Calm yourself, Muzu. Link's eyes betray no hint of deception. He remains a best friend of Zora. There must be an explanation. Link, I will now tell you what happened when we last saw Princess Zelda, as well as the reason behind my seclusion here in the pristine sanctum. Hmm. We encountered Princess Zelda just after Hyrule Castle ascended into the sky. Floating islands appeared at this from nowhere. Sludge and fragments of ruins began to bring down. Uzu and I had left the domain to investigate these strange occurrences. That is when it happened. Princess Zelda descended from the sky, accompanied by a sludge monster. What happened next took us by surprise. She then turned. She then unleashed a beast upon us. King Dorfin. Violently vanquished the threat, however, he was barely injured by sludge during the battle. As for Princess Zelda, she vanished without a trace. Got out. If word got out that Princess Zelda lost her mind and harmed the Zora King, the resulting turmoil would be devastating. This is why we are temporarily remaining hidden within the pristine sanctum. According to your story, Princess Zelda disappeared suddenly in the steps behind Mini Hyrule Castle. On the other hand, she suddenly appeared. There is always the man and the Alicia monster upon us. Waters of truth have become murkier still, but from the Zora's perspective, one thing is clear. Hmm. It all leads back to the sky. Oh. The disaster is sludge, this monster, and even Princess Zelda. It may well be that the answer to these riddles can only be found skyward. Hmm. on order Jihado. Jihado to a historian well acquainted with ruins and investigate. Order the progress has been made. It has. <laughs> ah, so you have already spoken with Jihado. Hmm. Say that if you say that the mark of the king was mentioned on the stone slate that was restored, hmm? Indeed, I do know of it. Mark of the king refers to Azora's king, the to Azora king scale, one of my scales, in other words. Hmm. I have heard it called by the name you mentioned in the ancient ritual. However, none remain who know how to use it. This particular scale of mine may prove useful to you. By all means, take a few. There's nothing need for. There's no need for restraints. This is. This as is a. This is as nothing to me. You run out simply to try to fire more. Wahahaha! <laughs> hey, thanks for the scale. After all that transpired, and after much reflection, I've come to, to the realization I must truly. Be getting on in my years to have allowed a mere monster to catch me off guard. Perhaps the time is nearing for me to pass the title of the king onto Zidon, ah. King Dorfin. Hmm. In any case, that it that is a ma matter for another day. I think chaos surrounding the sludge has it quieted. Perhaps inform, please inform Zidon of my situation about the king's scale. Tell him there is no need to worry about me. Tell him that he must go forth and do what needs to be done. Right. Hey man, I know you're not. He's not like very trusting of like anybody, right? Oh, if I only had my armor. Whatever. Hello. I have learned of stuff. Hey. Ah, uh, Link, have you made any progress in your search for the Prince of Zelda? I have. Hey. Well, you say my father was attacked by a monster and that Prince of Zelda unleashed it upon him. What could that possibly mean? Well, for now, I fear all we can do is take my father's word. Father has word and try not to let any our concern overcome us. Mm -hmm. Link, thank you for telling me about my father. Mm -hmm. Princess Zelda is descended from the sky, not to mention the monster in that filthy sludge. It seems our course is skyward. 
We now know that the mark of the king is written on the slate, referring to my father's scale. The only remaining mystery is that the land of the skyfish and the floating rock and the shape of the droplet. Again, upon the land of the skyfish, that must be referring to an actual location of some, of some sort. I'm sure that we can locate the land of the skyfish. It will lead us to a floating rock that is in the shape of a droplet. Link, if you need to find any leads, please let me know. Okay, so... Objection... Objective along line Sidons, if you find a clue about the watery bridge, connect it. So we're Yip. find the agent. I need to go to like a blacksmith or something, right? That's what she was telling me to do. But where is said blacksmith? Hit. Nope. Just announced that things have made a turn for the better regarding her treatment on the patient. That means my soldier fringe should be recuperating soon. I am bored. Uh. Oh, hey. I mean, hello, Link. I'm impressed you were able to make it to the domain. The roads are muddled up with the sludge, and the river is so dirty we can't even, can't even oh. swim in it. You really are amazing, Lin. Oh, uh, Link, you mean oh. you uh, already are enough already? I can't stand it. It feels so cold and unnatural to call you that. There's also strangers. I thought it would be feel weirder to call you the hero than name by some silly nickname we gave him as a child, but oh, oh whatever. I'm just gonna go ahead and call you Linny. Hey Linny, uh, yes, I feel so much better. I call, I call you Linny because you're more than just linked to me. Hope you'll forgive me for using my old friend card for that. Anyways, you're amazing, Linny. Only you could see it to, could make it to the domain under these conditions. I'm so happy to see you again. Oh, and I know you should, should stay here, Bill, won't you? As you can see, we're our, you're our only customer, so you've got the whole place to yourself. Try the water bread if you like, it's divine. Oh. Link, welcome. We have lost many customers because the sludge does not bode well for us. We are unsure where the sand has gone off to. My daughter is quite attached to him. We are worried. Might be covered in sludge at this very moment. I certainly hope it is not the case. Uh, oops, I mean... I really must be returning to my work. Thanks for coming by. Go to sleep. As deep as the ocean here, that's how you're staying. Uh, no, 
Thank you. Hi. I'm looking for the blacksmith. I'd be on the other side. Hey, hey, man. Yeah. So it's you. Do you need something? Oh. In the ancient war one. In that case, I've heard whisper that you speak this button here. We have statues at the peak. Okay. Does it appear again? It, this too is wrong with people. So I gotta go up here. Go to it. Ian Luton's statue. And go find a fish. <laughs> I don't mind, I need to go up this waterfall. No, I was so close. Frog, you're mine. I like how the crabs are disappeared. Why are you up here? <laughs> Literally that. The one and only fish. Hey Mifa, how you doing? You doing okay? Probably not. I mean, your whole ass domain is fucking under sludge. to get my armor. I got the one fish, the only fish, and they're now extinct. Why does stuff keep falling? Water brew, huh? 